Hi y'all. I think this is about the this is the last video I do today, y'all. Shout out to the ones who crank these things out. How do you do it? I guess I got too much shit to hear to do in the house, huh? Anywho, same day, Tuesday, uh, 15th of August, 2017, Grover Area. This video is going to be on um, the Basketball Wives Season 6, Episode well, 17, The Reunion. I'm so glad y'all did it in one. Remember they used to stretch it out, one, two? Some shows do three, not y'all. I think I we did two. Yeah, yeah, I got condensed it and truncated it into one. Cool. That, that was really, really good. Um, uh, just, just underwhelming. What I would do like is that they really had a real, real R E A L was imported into the R E E L. Finally, there was some real realism in reality TV. I know at Jackie's expense, people bring up the Drea karma, and people hate when you say the word karma. Like, it, it's not life. It is. Y'all don't run up action physics. I don't know if science teachers aim to do that, but no, energy seeks its source. All energy seeks its natural source. Get the medicine cards, look at the salmon, and why it swims upstream. So, oh, I hate when people say that word. Why? Because you don't think that it should come back around? If you send something out, you don't think it should come back to you? Those who don't like the word karma don't expect shit to come back to them or come back to the people they like, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, they just that's, they think it's unfair. They don't think the unfair misdeed that the person exacted is unfair. No, they don't think that's unfair. That was probably entertaining to them. When that comes back to them, oh, it's unfair. No, it's calm. It's balanced. The earth stops at nothing to restore balance on her axis. The the earth, Tiamat, she's conscious. She she was formed uh, millions ago. Billions. No, earth is billions of years old. In balance, and in balance, she will continually regenerate to restore. Okay. So, yeah, karma is, is natural. It's eventually, it's going to find its source. You created it, it's going to find you. Okay? Um, some people say, well, how come racists don't, uh, racists don't get karma? You know, we speak about that in study groups in the past and stuff. And I was truly stumped. Truly, I was like, why don't racists? You know, apparently, they're not getting indi indicted or going off to uh, uh, prison for the things that they do. Um, Reportedly in a lot of items, you know, we don't have to go there a whole nother video all the time, but um In in studies groups, I was like why don't racists get get karma, but then I started studying the Sun what the Sun does I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's it's more natural than now. Anyway, that's a whole nother video a whole nother time if so inspired to do so, but Yeah, I, I really believe that this is a issue that Jackie probably wouldn't face otherwise I don't think she would. This, this show, and I'm not taking it for Evelyn, y'all. I'm, I'm not a fan of Evelyn. Child, jeez. Neither one of them. But I have been so invested in the show since, God, when I was in school. I was studying law. In, in, in classrooms, I'm like, y'all look at that show? And it was like, yeah. So you hear about it in class, and here I go watching it. So now we all talking about it in class. But we ain't supposed to be doing We should be talking about the law, okay? But, um, so... Being emotionally attached to a show for so long, you invest them. Like, I don't know, might as well watch the shit. What the fuck? See what the ladies is up to. Get the updates. Um, but I know I got a detox from uh, R E E L L T T V. I know I do, y'all. Especially spiritual people that may be listening to this. They're like, why is she watching that shit? I know, y'all. Plus, the ladies are melanated. <clears throat> Again, and I love a love story. Love a love story. But they don't really seem to give you, like, how you met. How y'all fell in love and things of that nature. Or something with a show with wives in it. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe they're not allowed to, to spread the love like that. They could be steered on what to talk about and what to do. You know, manufactured foolishness. But in any event, this is a real... It, it, this To me, this was, this episode, this season rather, was so intriguing. I know people are like, I don't want to hear no more about Takari. as Jackie's uh, firstborn daughter um, of the show. Again, this is uh, Basketball Wives recap and review but I believe that it was necessary because it's it's real again it's real on reality in quotes TV uh, and I don't think Jackie would face it now I, the mystery is this is why I can't wait to buy the book not to do as a personal affront to Jackie I don't know her personally I only know what she showcases on TV but um which is a lot uh, 
But again, it's entertaining. We tune in. Yeah, they know we tune in. Um, she know we tune in. But what I'm saying, well, it, it's presented for us to tune in. Okay. What I'm saying is, I'm hoping the book reveals what transpired to make Jackie stay away. So I don't know if Takari hit her or spat on her or punched her. I know something happened that was just unforgivable. I. I some some parents is like that's it you're disowned that's it something happened and I can't wait to read the book to find out now there's conflicting evidence people who are pro Jackie in the comments oh Takari saying she didn't abuse her da, da, da. when people are pro somebody they'll pull at any damn store to justify you know and I'm assuming all these pro Jackie people must have had no mother issues because so they can't relate to Takari that's not their pain. It's not personal to them because they don't understand it. So I could be wrong, but I'm assuming the pro Jackie uh, people in the comments of various different videos, they don't have or didn't have any mother issues. So this just is inconceivable that she would feel this way. But I, listen, y'all read the audio. Uh, I, I didn't read the book. The audio book of um, Joan Crawford's daughter, Christina, I think her name is. It's on YouTube, y'all. Oh, God, I can't think of it. It's, it's, I think the book is called Mommy Dearest. Y'all get in. The audio book is on a uh, motherfucking YouTube. She spoke, she spoke about something called night night terrors or some shit when the mother just starts spat. She was an Aries. No defense to Aries. Joni and Betty, both Aries, okay? Mm -hmm. Aries is the god of war. Yeah. Child, it rules the ego. So I'm like, what if Christina was into astrology? Not that that would have... It may help because you're trying to figure out, like, why is this lady this way? What the fuck? Any event, that audio book is everything, y'all. Get some popcorn, get a couple of glass. I have, you know, a glass of wine, white wine and popcorn. You know, make your, your room light dim. You could light a little candle and just sit back with your popcorn and wine. And make sure the wine is chilled. Get a couple of chill bottles in the refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? And just enjoy the audio book. You know, well, the, the, it's mad audio books on YouTube. I get in and I ain't getting a plug nickel. I ain't advertising like that, but get all the way in if y'all don't already know. But yeah, Jackie, I'm starting to feel some mommy dearest tease, and not to echo uh, Evelyn. What? But what? But but in being mommy dearest, did she react? Did she defend herself one day? And you was like, that's it. You're, you're disowned. You know, Jackie could be very dramatic. So was was this? Oh, something happened. Leos are very well. All moms are possessive of their cubs, but a Leo, the pride, y'all get nature, the lioness, and I believe Takari's a Leo. Jackie told us in that uh, episode in Hawaii. I believe that they don't want to break up their 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 clan, their pride. You, their family is their pride, unless she didn't take pride in her looks. I don't. There's so many different things. And VH1 now is posting the backdated videos of them when they were at counseling. Of when Shanti was talking to Laura, and I think Laura was wrong. And this is the thing: I gotta manage my own hypocrisies. I thought it was wrong to interview Jackie's daughter like that. If you have catty dissension with someone, that's between you and, and the ladies. I don't think you should be interviewing someone's offspring. I don't think it should. Uh, the catty juice should seep into outside of the cast. I could be wrong. You know, when Nene was talking to Phaedra back in the days um, on Roa reunion a while back, you can't win when you're dirty. You're trying to interview my half-sisters and da 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 And I'm no, um, I, I, I told you I like Nene in the early season. I didn't like it. By that time, I was no longer into Nene. But I like right. Studying law, trust me, I like right. I like logical shit. I don't have your family members on my mind if I have issues with you as an individual. Unless they did some wrong shit too, and he's all a uh, wrong fucking uh, concert going on here. You see what I'm saying? So I don't even, your people don't even come to mind. If I'm, this is what I'm saying. Why are you interviewing people, family members? What the fuck? I just think that's really crossing uh, boundaries. It's fucked up. However, however, I believe Laura's motives was catty shit. And I, I believe Evelyn's motives could have been part catty. She had, but also part she really cared about that picture was that did y'all see that picture of that baby that shit was devastating I do believe Evelyn gave a fuck about that baby I do and they said oh she gave the 3500 extra if it was already met why the fuck not if the girl needed it why not you have a rich mother do you know the pressure it is to know a millionaire and you struggling to pay a cable bill not with me per se let me give you a hint without giving away too much 
my sister-in-law's second cousin had babies from a legend. Yes, you know his name. Babies from a legend. I, I've been to the mom's house in Queens. Was not too far from a, the dope parties. Y'all read the um read my memoir, the dope parties. I oh. Oh my goodness, uh, house music all night long. When we couldn't afford to go to Studio 54, second owner, not the first owner, when it was the really the shit, second owner, I'm like, come on girls, we're gonna go up to my sister or cousin's house. He's in the house music, it's gonna be on and pop. And he can have a party impromptu. You be like, let's crank up the music. But he had when he had a planned party, oh shit. And that's how I met the legends offspring. He had a, a daughter and a son, um uh he has more kids, but the daughter and son from uh, my sister-in-law's cousin. Hold on, y'all. I gotta pick up my fork. Yeah. I had to go to the kitchen, man. I got the fire on again. Um, but her siblings, not that she owes them anything. I was there one time when the brother got into an argument with her. Now, the, uh, the legend's big mother is a Scorpio. The brother, this brother's a Virgo. And I was like, oh, Lord, stand back. I don't know. Jeez. Because, like, you know, Scorpio, I'm like, this is going to be fireworks. But the, the Scorpio, she just started crying. I was like, and I felt bad. And that made the Taurus, which is the DJ, he's just a cool dude. He started cussing out his Virgo brother. And it, it got, I don't get the business. But it was, yeah, it was, it was not good. But it was, the argument started because he was like, I ain't have money to buy my kids a coat and da, 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 and you a millionaire. So my thing is, the pressure of having a millionaire in your family and you struggling, or having a knowing someone that's a millionaire and you struggling. Takari, I'm telling you, I don't listen. As to date that I know of, um, we had legendary a legendary singer in my family. Uh, two legendary singers in my family. They, they since made the transition. I don't know if they had their masters or you know you, you look at unsung. So I don't even know if they got their rightful monies. But this legend is a bona fide millionaire. He got his coin. Okay, so I understand from that perspective. This is not hearsay. I'm in the house when shit is going down about them coming at the scorpion like, you know, you know, we need help. And, you you know, and she, and she was like, I help mommy and da, 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 da. And I, I, never mind with the um, verbatim because this, I'm going back to the 80s when I sat there. Um, and I, I'll get all into I, I'm a writer, y'all. So she could be detailed, okay, detailed, saturated. What I'm saying is, and one of her, two of her siblings are in the room from my mom. And people in my family were like, why didn't he rent a room when they when they um they sisters with a legend? Well, you know that that's his her baby daddy, and I had to explain. Well, I don't know, but I, I, no one owes you anything. I get that just because they're a millionaire and you're related to them, but I guess the pressure to carry is having a millionaire mom and you're struggling. That's got to be a weird sensation. Like I was in your womb for nine months and you gave birth to me and. They don't get no more close in relations than mom and, and child. I did honey, breastfeeding. I, I just I don't understand what that must feel like to have a millionaire. That, I had an ex homie, a, a gay guy, a beast. Uh, let's call him a Gemini. What's he? What is he in my memoir? Devin. He's Devin in the book. He had a millionaire homie, another Gemini sister, uh, married to a Pisces. A millionaire from um, I think I think he's a lawyer. Her Pisces husband. Yeah, yeah, we had the same last name, uh, surname, uh, slave name, you know, ironically. But um, he somehow felt the pressure here and there, having a millionaire homie. But it's just, you don't want to put that pressure on your millionaire homie. This is just a homie now, not your mother. You don't want to put that pressure on a millionaire homie like our friendship would be based on a burden of you having to always give me. You want it to still feel like, because they were friends before the millions came. And he loaned her $300. In it. No, y'all read that in the memoir, but... Um, something with school books, $110. I don't know. 110 they both Gemini. That's so what the, the two ones is the Gemini clip, glyph. You don't care. And he, he didn't care in the moment. Like, I can't believe you're doing astrology shit on the phone. I'm telling you so. <laughs> and then she's a nine. He's a six. I'm like, y'all should be getting along. He was like, I can't do numerology. Would you just listen to me? <laughs> Their friendship lasts from college to... 09. 09. Yeah, about 09, we severed ties. So from the 90s to 2009. But uh, yeah, I read more about that in the memoir. But anywho, but I, again, I know people who, who've had millionaires in their close circle and they still have to struggle. It just That's a good book too. Someone writing about knowing millionaires in your family or your friendship circles and you don't have access to their fiat like that. And how does the friendship blossom? How does the connection 
I don't hold on, y'all gotta cut the fire off. I don't need shit. Lord, hold on, be patient, y'all. Well, click off if you ain't patient. What the hell? It's my outlet. Oh. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I keep cutting the air off from on, Daddy. Should I get it? I should put ice. I don't like that. I like my room, my water, room temperature. But I'm so tempted to put ice in this water. It's just, ooh, gosh. Mm -hmm. It's hot as dick had band. Oh, jeez. But again, you cut on the air, it's cold as dick had band. The sand ain't doing what it should. Oh, all right. I'm almost going to go out today. I don't want to go out. Oh, I'm too big for pool room shorts. That'd be very offensive. It's inappropriate. I got some uh, my maxi dresses. I'm going to put them in cleaners and wash me. we like, what can I wear? It's just hot as hell. But I want to run some errands. I need mushrooms down there. Not those kind, y'all. You know, cooking spaghetti. Hold on. Mm. That water's good. It's room temperature. Okay. Now, I'm back. So, Takari, I feel your pain. I could not imagine having a millionaire mom and no access to the fiat. <laughs> imagine. That's what I'm saying. What transpired that she would sever ties like that? And then, anyone who's still convinced that Jackie is, um, auspiciously active in Takari and her children's life when she don't know the baby's birthdays. You don't have to be an astrologer. I'm into astrology. I know birthdays of my enemies. I know they natal charts too because most of your enemies were once friends or family members. So, um, got the natal charts too. So, birthdays, like, like um, Jennifer said, I know my dog's birthday. Jennifer, I know my, my past dog's birthdays too, my past pets. Because I, I do the natal chart for them. They, you know, pet in my house. I don't see the natal chart. Oh, no, we're going to get this crunk. You got to do a composite chart and figure out what's going on. with, with, with You going to live with me? I need to see the natal chart. Yeah, hell, if you visit me, I want to see the natal chart. You, you see what I'm saying to you? But in any event, so Jackie, when you don't know that baby birthday and the host, you on point. And I'm anti the host having nothing to do with the show. Like, I wasn't too thrilled with John Sally because I thought it should be all women. I'm like, they couldn't get... um. Leslie Uggams, no, not Leslie Uggams. That's the actress. Heavens, is that Kizzy? Leslie, somebody from the WNBA. She came to mind. Tall, dark, and pretty sister. Whomever. I'm like, they can't get somebody retired from the WNBA to do this. I'm sure they probably like to come out the house and you know, be on the circuit again. Why it gotta be a guy? It's wives. Go find a wife that's retired from the WNBA. What the? Fuck? But I guess that would make too much sense. They can't have it too logical. Um, and, and like loving hip hop, I'm like, shouldn't it be a, a legend in that hip hop host and seat for those reunions? They can't find Spinderella to do it. They can't find um, Cheryl uh, Salt James Ray. She, um, no offense to the L of loving hip hop, I think she's too um, highbrow. Uh, she may be too classy to. No offense to a spirit, y'all. I don't mean no harm, but I don't see Salt doing it. Uh, but Peppa, can't, they can't ask Peppa or Spin. Who else? Um, I find MC Light to be too highbrow to do it. Queen Latifah's too highbrow. No offense. I'm going to get probably like, well, what are you saying about us? We chop living? No. But I, I don't understand a non hip. I know she says she's a journalist, but a non hip hopper in that seat? She must have a good rapport with um, Mona. It's, a, it's political. People hire who they like, they don't hire to make sense. But Mona, I'm sure you would like Spin or Pepper. Mona's an Aquarius, Spin is a Leo. I'm sure y'all get along fine. I, I don't understand how the hosts don't have nothing to do with the, the, the subject matter of the show. I, I don't know. R&B Divas, I thought Patti LaBelle should have did it. Not Wendy Williams. I, I just, Shaka Khan, made, oh, Shaka would have been a great host. Aries, they would have known, known better than the fuck with her, okay? Or Patti, okay? Just someone who would be respected, but they're in that field. I... I don't know, but again, like, like my spiritual homies keep telling me, girl, you know that would make too much sense. It's too logical. They're not pushing sound logic anymore. This age of Aquarius is scaring the fuck out of them. They hell been on dumbing everything down. Okay, they fighting against the cosmos. Okay, uh, what we say in our study group, uh, what uh, India said in her song video, ain't nothing that I'm saying is law. So don't get your knickers in a knot. Oh, click off. Anyway. Back to Takari. I know you're like, why don't she stay on course? Because I don't. Disseminate moon. Just the frequency you get here. Scattered sweet tea, chi. Be me. Disseminate moon, okay? That's what you're going to get here. Um, you don't like it? Don't click on. 
Oh, well, click off. I don't hear you. Why don't I tell you? This is not forced on you is my point. So being disgruntled about something that's not forced on you, per the psych uh, 101 class I sat in, that's psychotic. Be disgruntled about something that's forced on you. Not something you have a choice. What, what the fuck? It's my outlet. Okay? All right, now. Takari, my heart goes out to you. And uh, Jackie, she has a right to write this book, uh, publish it, everything. I know FD told my go get an injunction. He's a Leo. I guess he. Well, Takari's a Leo too, FD. From what Jackie said in the Hawaiian episode. Now, when they went to Hawaii. Um, Jackie, my suggestion read Queen um, Afini Shakur's book that Jasmine Guy wrote, Evolution of a Revolutionary. Read the part where she felt about when Tupac wrote Dear Mama, the song. How she felt raw and exposed and she was mad. Like, how, how, how dare you say this publicly? And But then she had to think about it. She said, wait a minute, it's, it's Tupac's life. It's his life too. He's writing about his life. He has a right. No man is an island. You have a mother, you have friends, you have family. You have a right to write about your life. Your story is yours. And if you were part of my life, oh well, what the fuck? I changed names. Does that help any? What the shit? Um, I know Takari can't change names. We already know who she's talking about. But I think the spiritual, cosmic, karmic moral of the story is you can't escape your DNA. People try to escape their past and the cyclical proof the dirt is around, the, the, the pregnant womb belly is around, your head, your eyeballs around, tires around, goes round, the calendar, the months go round and round. Life is round, it's cyclical. It's ideas that evolve so when you come around to it again, you fine tuned it, it got better. It didn't stay the same or devolved and got worse. So cyclical, you know what I mean? So Jackie, I think you're forced to face your past or face this connection. She has your DNA. You carried on your womb. She will not be ignored. I don't know why I saw that fatal attraction scene in the movie when she told um, Dan, I will not be ignored. What do, what do I look like to you? I know. I don't know. Never mind. That's just my marbles. Okay. That's what it did. But yeah, no. And that wasn't even no DNA. That was just dick in her. Uh, never mind. What I'm saying, y'all saw the movie. So 80s, go, go on Google shit. What I'm saying to you, the youngest, who know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the show that come on TAV1. That's off the chain too. It's family and DNA somehow. This is the movie in the eighties. Okay, I can look at that shit over and over again. You know, so you know you got a classic when you can look at that shit over and over again. Ugh. Um, mahogany. Oh, look at mahogany. Well, Donna Ross was fly as hell. Fly as hell. And I try not to like her sometimes because I read um Mary Wilson book. I even met Mary Wilson, and I'm not gonna tell you where you ain't YouTube and sh oh shit. Wait. <laughs> That's so painful. Can I delete this? I don't want to delete it. Maybe they won't pay no mind. They won't find the shit on. I look for it. I can't find it. You know what? I think the audience was so mature that, and I told them, don't y'all do it now. But Beyonce done told people in her audience don't put shit on YouTube. They ain't listening. But, I, but this audience was very mature, and I told them, please don't upload this shit to YouTube. They was like, no, we won't. And I haven't seen it. I hope they kept their promise. <laughs> I love you, Mary Wilson. Is it Mary, Mary Wells? No, Mary Wilson. Yeah, Pisces. Anywho, for reading that book, The Dream Girl, My Life is Supreme, and The Temptations book. And then I know she's a, a Donna Ross is an heir in Aries. I'm like, mm, mm. no offense, she's a legend. Don't get me wrong. But I, you read those, uh, go on and read those three books. Um, mm, uh, the two books. You know. I read um, my sister Tommy too. Um, Tammy Terrell's sister wrote the book. Did, was Donna Ross mentioned about that? No. I know they didn't want anyone from Motown there, but Marvin Gaye. I, I, you know, y'all, I'm a reading fool. Good, good books, y'all. But you can't even put the thing down. Anyway, I digress. Takari, I know Takari's like, Lord. <laughs> y'all too, just Takari. Takari, I think your speech impediment comes from your voice not being heard too. I do. This is all cosmic and um, spiritual. I don't know how Evelyn knew your mom in the past life. I know she's a Sagittarian one. Sag is the hunter. She is the one to project this out to the public for you. You know what I mean? She, y'all both fire. Y'all probably will get along, but it, it's people feel like Evelyn's crossing boundaries because you're interfering in family affairs. But if your family don't feel like family, you feel orphaned. What the fuck? I think Tari will always seek a maternal figure in her life. She said she had a grandma. And I think if she's lying to the Jackie fans, if the baby's lying, wouldn't the family of Jackie's come out and say, oh, she's lying? We supposed to believe you. Well, you had to believe me either. I'm an outsider too. But we supposed to believe an outsider. The fans watching the show, the viewers, I don't know, fan is fanatic. 
But the way y'all defending uh, Jackie's feels goddamn uh, fanatic. But we're supposed to, and if Jackie was Kenya, Lord Jackie, if you were Kenya Moore, we they, they, everybody be on Takari's side. Yes, Takari's telling the truth. Yes. Oh my God, Kenya, you were a terrible mother. Uh, we know your mother was that way, but you'd never be that way too. Oh, Jackie, if you were Kenya, this would be a whole different reaction. So it goes, it, it goes to show you this is about persona, who they like. People don't vote for right, they vote for like. Y you get it? I want to lean on the side of righteousness and right. That baby feels orphaned. She feels fiat poor. With a millionaire, I repeat, a millionaire mama. I don't know, like, well, once you're grown, you're, your parents don't owe you nothing once you're grown. Well, what did she owe her before she got grown? This is why I'm going to read the book and find out. But yeah, uh, Evelyn, you are that baby's voice. And not only that, she's seeking an extension of her mother in that way. The whole glam thing and the uh, fashion, even though you and Jackie aren't in a good space right now, y'all not getting along, but, um, and, and rightfully so, is granted. Anybody would be uh, uh, appalled by someone inserting themselves in their family affairs. And you did so financially. Uh, in this world, cash is king. So that's like, damn. But I'm spiritual, so... I would be more appalled if you went to the house and bought toys for the kids. I'm like, she went to visit her? Oh my gosh. Oh. And, but, but again, we don't know why Jackie distanced herself. From what Shanti say is superficial, she's darker, she's chubbier, and that's disgusting. But that's if you read um, Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome, Dr. Joy DeGruel's work, and um, things of that nature, Hidden Colors, uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, you'll know that color struck thing colorism came straight from the slave plantation you know not to excuse it but i like to diagnose it where did this attitude this this mental thing come from it's it's, it's psychotic it's make no sense well why fuck with a dog skin nigga oh he had coins he had them um street pharmaceutical coins girl then why little nut in you oh you want to hold on collateral child support uh, I don't fucking know but if you're anti-dog skin why fuck dog dick that's all I'm saying it, mathematics oh and Evelyn I love when you said no I don't want to be a sister wife he's too light I like dog skin men M Evelyn you know you from you from Harlem don't know you from Boogie Down born in BK born in Boogie that's what you said yeah so you know you know they had the light skin shit in New York in the 80s I think everything about the same age yeah they had the 80s you know lights but it was more geared towards the female no no 80s the light skinned dudes with the good hair quote unquote good hair they had a lot of attention too exactly why I looked at the dark ones I'm like oh this is a whole demographic being ignored mm. but I was raised by mom and uh, aunt uh, well aunt didn't raise me but I used to go to her house here and there she used to talk about melanin um I knew what melanin was early and then they resented it being called pigment back then it was like because they called cops pigs back in the days and mint meant mind like she knew that back then in the 80s so they calling that shit pig mind we, we not that no melanin okay so they would tell me what that was in the sun and all this and all that so as a teenager in the 80s i'm junior high school in high school i knew early on that uh, uh dark uh, what, what tupac said the dark of the flesh said the deep of the roots i knew that early so if y'all gonna ignore the dark skin brothers fine good more for us me and my crew we knew what dark was okay the, the majesty and that hold on me and water but evelyn from new york so i i get how she was like no i like dark skin Ev, I love that you said that. I'm like, oh, okay. And it's, you know, contrast, opposites, attach, uh, attach, what I'm saying, attract, you know, people might say, but I still get a sense that she knows what melanin is. I just get that sense all along. Then you reportedly sell it on the black market. Y'all Google how much melanin weighs per the ounce. I mean, uh, grams and shit, more than gold. Y'all go on and get your Google on YouTube on with that shit. Don't take my word for shit. Get your own study on, okay? Why you riding mine? Get your own shit. We're looking. To... That, that for me, that would be impure uh, knowledge. And, you know, study. The internet don't sense of being mentally lazy no more. But okay, but I'm telling you, it's hard um, to feel all alone when you have a money up mama and one that's a public figure. Is I hope she don't watch the show, but she probably does. It's a mother. You know what I mean? To come we talk sharp to um, Jackie too. I peeped that in the. Uh, they did the flashback of the counseling session. Takari is sharp. She's smart. 
And the way she was talking to Laura, she knows instinctually that something is wrong when you treat us this way and treat her that way. Something is it, it, it's, it's wrong. And now that Shanti is a mom too, I'm hoping she really bonds with Takari. But that speech impediment, again, I think is from not having a voice or your voice not feeling like you're feeling like you don't feel like you're being heard. You know what I mean? I think that's what that is. And um, hopefully, uh, Takari could heal. I, I really do. People say, you know, they yalla, yalla, fix my life. They say it up to be condescending. I'm saying it to be sincere. I know about your robot. I know uh, what Yala, Miss Yala Evanzant knows. And she can really help you, Jackie. And you don't have to be put it on TV. She can really help the both of y'all. And it's not just counseling and talking. I'm talking about this exercises with herbs and things y'all can do and fasting and V-steam baths, hip baths. There's things y'all need to do to heal, your, to heal that cellular memory. Um, if y'all don't do it together, maybe I can do it apart. I don't know, but uh, definitely a, a mother-daughter healing is desperately needed on this planet. The healing offspring, uh, parent, parent offspring, period. Um, it needs to be done. I'm going to, it's 30 minutes. I don't want it to be as long as the show itself. What was it, an hour? 40 minutes for commercials. Let me get, let me get off this thing. But yeah, the the reunion was underwhelming. I ain't even get into the outfit. It's expensive, and you'd be like, why? Why the fuck? Why is that expensive? Uh, I used to be a fashion nista myself. I used to run with, run with boosters from Brooklyn, Evelyn. I'm sure you know. But I ain't saying you do it, but you from New York. You know what time it is. Where we same age. You know it's good. But um, family robbed my house. Designer duds gone. <laughs> it ain't funny, but you know. But at that moment, February 1990, I sat on my naked mattress when I went to my apartment. Yeah, they stole the mattress, the um, the bedding, the duvet. They stole the, the who steals? I'm like, they stole the mattress, not the mattress itself. What's called the the blankets and the who steals bedding off the bed? I'm like, what the fuck? Food out the refrigerator, out the cupboards. I'm like, they stealing the food? It just, it just no, they wasn't on no crack. All alcohol and sober-minded motherfuckers robbed the family. Robbed me, family, okay? And get mad when I talk about it. I'm like, well, if you didn't do it, it wouldn't be nothing to talk about. Shouldn't you be happy that you didn't have to do a bit in prison bond and shit? No, the ego, they, they don't want you to talk about it. Well, you talk about family business. I'm like, no, the whole family house didn't get robbed. Just my apartment. Just mine got robbed. My family. It's my business to talk about. What the Takari girl, I feel your pain. I don't feel your pain with a million near mama who um, disowned me. No. Um, well, they have mommy issues. You read about that in the memoir. The memoir. Nothing with uh, dark skin and chubby fat and nothing like that. Me and my mom about the same hue. I think she's a shade or two lighter than me. Shade and a half lighter. Um, she's not as plump as I, but she got plumpy factors. So my mommy's not that superficial anyway to uh, browbeat somebody behind weight and um, skin tone. That, that's surface and superficial. No, no. Mommy don't want the Clark City University. She's a degreed woman. No, no. Good, good African study professor she had, too. She was taking me to school with her, sitting in the back with the other kid. No, this had nothing to do with that. Listen, Takari girl, with family, just know you're not alone with uh, dysfunction and, and with family and par parental uh, things. Don't feel alone. And I'm hoping Evelyn, even if she's helping you despite, to despite Jackie I'm hoping there's some sincerity in there where she just want to help you because she knows that you may seek and long but she's had daddy issues so she can understand that 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 void that loss that sense of loss and I'm hoping she's there for you I know people are anti it they're oh she's out of line I'm thinking if her only if her motive is sincere you can she can still spite Jackie but still have a sincere spot for you too I'm hoping she helps you promote your book and just be there if you need an ear to talk to because you need that. You don't have it in Jackie, but I want to know why, girl. I, I I can't wait to buy your book. They said the end of August. You you got my you got my coin and I'm on a lean budget right now. You got my coin. I don't worked you into the budget for the August bills. I'm getting that book. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And ain't despite Jackie. I don't even know. I don't know personally. But I know your story. Anybody in the hood knows the story. So I am going to read your story. And probably review it too here on this channel. Y'all tweet this to Takari or IG. Can you send videos to IG? Y'all know I got an IG too. And I can't remember the passy code. I got to remember passy code for Twitter and IG. Y'all know I'm not active on those things, y'all. I'm, I'm old school. I'm pushing 50. All right, love you. And Jackie, I don't believe you're 61. Girl, you're 61. You look good though. Now, I, I, people tease your neck, but I still think you look good. 
I, are you bullshit? I think she wants to put any age out there to confuse the masses and hear some bullshit. Anyway, y'all, Takari, be well, sister. Blessings and healings to you. And the, the again, the reunion was blah. It was, it was blah. I'm glad it was in one. And Jennifer, you was popping all that yin yang with Claudia, but don't pop off like that at Evelyn or the chick that slap you. Evelyn, Jackie, why you even think of that? I think you started. Did you start looking at your mirror, your compact? That shit was funny as hell. But, um, Jack, you should have said that. Like, you awfully fucking mouthy and verbose with me. Vociferous with me. And Claudia, you wasn't like that with Evelyn. Or the chick that slapped you. Girl, this is displaced dissidents going with that bullshit. I know you're sitting down, but I'm going to say it anyway. Sit the fuck down. Ugh, anyway. Boring reunion. Uh, I don't know what next season gonna look like. I have no idea. They keep importing fresh blood. They do, you know, into new new faces. But the new faces seem boring. Sanaya look good. Uh, Sanaya, I don't like how you did the the, the chick, uh, the, the Spanish chick about the clothes. But I think you could be the breakout star. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, we don't feel the ounce of boredom when we watching you. That's what we want your shit for, not to be bored. All right, let me go. This shit should not be longer than the show. All right, peace.